guys rex here back for another x games video now today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a very cool and personalized channel icon like the one that i have got at the moment sorry i'm just trying to get myself untangled <laughs> like this one here if you want to make one like that stay tuned and here's a better image just in case you forgot well it looks like a bit closer up very easy but first of all in the link the link in the description below will be a website that you need to go to or if there's another one you know do that i wouldn't recommend nova skin for this if you know that not the kind of thing you need to do but signaturecraft.us slash create underscore avatar dot php that's if you want to do it yourself or just signature craft then you go to the avatar one you put in your mc username so that's mine you put in the image size don't do that one because that's tiny and then you can't do anything good with it and you need to do face default and then generate the avatar then you can right click and save as Boop. so you can see in my folder um, let's just call it that for now there you go that's if you wanted to see it now go into paint.net and there are two ways you can either open it up or just drag and drop uh yeah then i can suggest you drag and drop to be quite honest sorry if you can see all this some of this is my other project things i've been working on so here we go now to be honest when you go to upload it it has to be it actually has to be bigger by one so just enlarging it a tiny bit you will see that it will possibly go a tiny bit blurrier because basically you've been maximizing it a bit more but now you can do all of this we're going to need to get a new layer i believe i'm trying to remember this and you're going to need to this one i believe it helps if you fade it out randomly like that like you know fade it out a bit because now on this layer you're probably wondering wait why don't go pink new layers you need to make sure you do that oh this is paint.net if you didn't know suggest you download it it's free it's basically photoshop but for free and it's great i never used to have it but realized how good it was and downloaded it <laughs> anyway what you need to do is get a good brush size that you like and i believe we're going to start with an outline of the hair let's not have pink we want to make sure we've got black <laughs> unless you'd like a pink background so if you want you could what i suggest you do is go with the outline of the hair i don't know why my mouse is lagging so much i'm sorry but you might want to go with a crazy hairstyle uh like the wow or you might want to do a very like hairstyle like that i'm sorry it's lagging i really don't know what happened but because i'm going to be using this i might as well give it a rough estimate of what my hair would look like because this is my homemade skin so let's just go with that shall we yeah i like that and now if you were to do so you could always then just fill it in and have like black hair oh my gosh that looks like dan dan and phil not that i, I don't watch them but yeah <laughs> next you need to get the shape tool which is this one and the default should be a square and then you can draw around the eye now if you ever want to look what it's going to look like just get rid of the background that's mine so far it's pretty good yeah i like it so far and then get the um, paintbrush and you need to draw like a bit of a curve or however you're going to make yours so if you're going to make it maybe i don't know look a bit like your skin let's say your skin was stampy i don't know let's just say stampy skin he would probably have the two eyes and the fur like crazy but because i am um, mine doesn't have crazy fur just gonna have it like that now what you're gonna need to do is fill in the eye black yeah and then 
because if you can see there's a bit of it left you can go back over it if you wish to get rid of the weird white and the laser head now what you need to do or i suggest you do is you go back oh dang it can i suggest you highlight the inside of the eye and then get the pen and you go back round which means that you can only draw inside the eye look see look it's not appearing because it's not inside the eye which is pretty cool now what you can do from here if you've done so i just tend to click away from that and let it do that and to check it's worked uh just get a random color i would and do that okay so it definitely worked now you want to choose the colors you want i'm gonna go with blue like that and then go click the main primary color and just do the eye then you need to choose the gradient tool ah yeah that's what you need the magic tool for you need to click that part of the eye then do the gradient and then i would find like the middle point and then you can like sort of rescale it like where you want the gradient I like that and then I press enter and then just to get the magic tool away look I like that it's kind of cool the cool eye effect now um I suggest you do the hair or I don't have them in this but if you have eyebrows you could always just quickly I think you should do the eyebrow first but then look let's just give myself an eyebrow can't really see it but I'll do that and I'll join it up there. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Oh, let me just get rid of that. Sorry, OCD. <laughs> Got to make sure that... E e right. ah, there we go. Now what you want to do is you want to go back to the hair. So if you have anything else in your hair like this, like streaks, I would suggest you go back and do that. And then now I can do that. And if you do that, for example, look, so I could do that and then maybe I could put the line down the middle. I know it's not very detailed hair design, but if you wanted to do that, and maybe I could, oh, goodness, uh, it's because it hasn't joined up right. But if I wanted to, I could always go back and change the colour of the hair. This isn't really rushed, but if you're wondering why my video is going quite quickly, it's because I'm, I haven't got long with it. But let's choose, let's go for a nice red and a nice dark red tone. Don't forget to do the magic tool. Let's get that part just to check it's worked. Then you put the brush to fill it in. Use the gradient tool. Drag it about, I would drag it about halfway diagonally. And you can just re-size it like that and blur it out. So that's quite cool. So it's got like that cool, sick, detailed effect. Now if we go to that one, let's just say this time I'm going to have yellow and darky, murky yellow. And that's not a nice colour. And I might want to do that. And then just blur it out a bit. So this is just a rough idea. Now, like I said, you can always get rid of the background. That's what might look like. I mean, it's quite cool, yeah. Then if I get that bit maybe here, I just want br simple brown. Could just go back to that one. Maybe I suggest finding a nice colour you like and then trying to make a brown out of it. Like, I like that brown. And then, like I said, look. If you wish to do a gradient, once again, that is fine. Gradients look quite good, usually. That doesn't look the greatest, but it gives it that nice hair effect. And because it's hair, yeah, you want that to have a nice hair effect. Yeah, it doesn't line up, but why would it? <laughs> And you might just want to quickly highlight the eyebrow using control to get them both. And then just do the gradient so you can... It's not very clear here. But there, there you go. I've done that. Now, if there's anything left on your face, maybe a nose or a mouth or something, 
as you can see, mine <laughs> doesn't have that because I wanted him to have a mask. So let's just give him in that mask. Oh, I hate this. It's so, so like slow and annoying. I'm sorry about that either. If you just saw something, yeah. What happened was because um, I've only got a trial of this recording software. Uh, it only lets you do ten minutes at a time. So yeah. Um, I think that will work. Like I said, if you ever want to check, there you go. Look, it's quite cool actually, black. But I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to. So let's go for a, one of my other texture ideas. Uh, don't forget to use the magic wand. And if there's anything you want to ever say, like, oh, how do you do this? Um, I am doing this without much, without much. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like profession, no professionalness or whatever you'd say. So if you don't, if you think I've missed out something, just say. And like I said, always keep checking. It looks pretty cool, I think. And something I actually forgot to do at the beginning, which always looks better, if you want, is to just draw a faint black box around. And you can rescale it. And also, if you're following this tutorial, and I'm never some, I'm never usually good with tutorials. But if you're having a bit of trouble and you're just getting like, oh, I can't do it anymore, and you would like me to make you one, my website, which you can find um, in the description or on my homepage of my channel, there is. Um, oh, just done that. If you're wondering, there is. Um, a, a link to my website which lets you find all my things with all my you know buy stuff page <laughs> uh i would suggest going for good skin color uh the best skin colors are about a mixture here of yellowy pink and then i would just because you can't really tell uh you might want to zoom in I think it needs to be a bit yeah I think I like that it looks a bit tanned I know but don't forget if you like if, as long as you like it it's okay and then ah right last thing you can notice getting rid of that if you can see it I can't point can I there the eye so better fill the eye in with white and then we are literally done uh, I think I will check mine and I will check back with this one and see what we missed out so there you go that is a successful one you know what ocd alert uh bam don't like don't like the skin color changing it <laughs> Yeah, trust me, being my being OCD like I am. There we go, because I'm actually quite pale. Let me do my screen. There you go. And like as you can see, some of these have a weird sort of curvy curve, like fadedness of them. If you don't want to get, if you don't want that, then easy, just go get rid of it. And but apart from that, there you go. That is how to make one. Easy, simple. Um. Ah, yeah, the last thing, if you can notice, look around the outside of that face, and then that face. But apart from that, it is done. Let's just open that up and go back to paint.net. We're going to need... My God. To do the shadowing. This part is pretty easy. Not too challenging. But once again, we need to call in our old trusty friend, Highlighty. Nope. And what you're going to need to do is highlight the skin, zoom in as best as you can, and if you've got, say, that primary colour, if not, just use the, um, if you forgot, get the colour picker and pick the skin. And all I would do is just go darker than it. Then get the pen tool, and I'd make it quite big. And what you can do from here is go around an outline of everything. like this 
and a uh, smaller gap probably should just be filled in straight away and here you might want to put some shadowing it just gives it that 3d crisp clear effect that makes it look 3d you might want to put a bit of shadowing behind the eyes but yeah and if then you click away like i do there's probably another way but and zoom out there you have it a complete official lovely jubbly thingy bobby channel icon there you go if you like this video please like subscribe if you're new to my channel and if you want to see more tutorials like this then go ahead and comment and say because i actually would love to do some more for you guys but just to check you can get rid of that and it won't make any difference if you could spot something and you don't know what say but then what you need to just do is go back to the web go back to youtube click that and then edit on google plus thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you for another tutorial hopefully goodbye